Hey guys, Graham here from the recordingrevolution.com and today I want to show you how to mix faster in Pro Tools. And what I mean is, you know how when you've mixed a song from a collection of songs, maybe you're you're mixing an entire album for a band or for your own band and all the tracks were recorded similarly or on the same day or over a series of similar days. So you know that a lot of the tracks are going to have a similar sound and need similar treatment. So for example, you mix the first song and everything's sounding great. You go to the next song, you open it up, and your drum tracks may look like this where they have no plugins, right? And you have to then pull up an EQ and a compressor and, and go to town and find, in essence, the exact same settings that you had on the first song because these drums are going to sound almost identical because they were using the same setup. I find that that just slows my mixing process down when I'm doing stuff that I've already done in another song. So, how can you? use that to your advantage. How can you take what you've already done in a previous mix and apply it to this mix in an instant so that you can move on from getting your drum sound and just go into the creative aspect of the mix and making all the other tracks work together? How can you do that fast? Well, Pro Tools makes it easy. It's a thing called import session data. And you may have used it to import a couple of tracks here and there, but unless you've really dug in deep, you may not realize that you can be very specific about what you want to import and what you don't want to import. And when this was um, shown to me, it was, blew my mind. I said, wait a second, this is going to speed up the way I work, and I want to show it to you right now. So I've got a kick and a pair of overheads, a real simple drum set up here, and I recorded three songs uh, this way, and I've already mixed the first two. And so I'm about to mix this whole song, and I'm just showing you the drum tracks for now. Um, but I don't want to deal with finding the same EQ and compression settings that I had before and hope I get a similar sound. I want to have the exact same settings. So here's my raw drums. All right, they're ready for me to, to start mixing. All I have to do is go to the file menu, choose import session data because I'm gonna import data from a previous Pro Tools session. That's the idea. It's gonna allow you to navigate to your audio drive, find the session that you wanna pull the, the data from. In this case, this song I've already mixed. This is the actual Pro Tools session that I know has the drum tracks with the right plugins. And so it's going to give you a really confusing dialog box that's going to give you a lot of options. What you're looking for is the source, right? So I'm looking for the kick and the overhead track from this song. Okay, it's very similar to what I have over here, a mono kick and a stereo overhead track. And so what you want to do is select those two. And in the right column, it's saying, okay, those, that's your source on the left kick in the overhead from this song, but the destination for this open session is a new track by default, but I don't want to open up a new track. I already have a kick and overhead track with audio already on it. So I'm going to select a specific track in my current session to import this data too. So this may look redundant, but I'm taking data from kick plus from one song and putting it on kick plus on this song. Same thing with the overheads. By default, the track data that you're choosing to import is set to all. Now this is not what you're gonna want because if you click all, you realize that it's all of these things, meaning it's gonna import every playlist, every piece of audio that's on those tracks, every volume and pan and mute automation, any elastic audio that you've done, any uh, comments or colors on the track, any mix groups that it's a part of. All of that stuff is really irrelevant to you in this mix. All I want is the plugins that I used on those tracks. So go ahead and check none, and then pull the dialog box back up and only select what you want. In this case, plugin assignments. So I want the plugins that were assigned and the plugin settings. Okay? So it's going to import some data, and specifically these two things from kick and overheads in the song I selected to kick and overheads in my open song. Pretty simple. You click OK, and it populates my two tracks with an EQ on the kick drum, a compressor, and a lo-fi plugin. And on my overheads, it looks like that's the EQ I used. 
the compressor I used, and tape saturation that I used on that track. Now I can take a listen. Right? So my drums are already treated. Really powerful. You can start to see how you can import all the plugins you used on similar tracks and you can go to town with this. So this will help you mix faster in Pro Tools if you know you've got tracks like a drum kit, maybe a vocal, maybe an acoustic guitar track where you use the exact same mic, mic setup, instrument, and maybe it's all recorded on a similar day then you know you're likely going to want to at least start with, if not finish with, the exact same plugin settings. So go ahead and import those suckers and use that as a starting point to tweak and move on quickly. Hope that helps you guys. Again, this is Graham at therecordingrevolution.com. Hope you guys are making some great music this week. We'll see you soon.